it's story time in one of my previous videos i told y'all that i lost my cna certification so back in 2016 my high school paid completely paid for us seniors to take the cna class this class was maybe like three months long we did hours of lecture in class lecture time we did hours of lab time and we also did clinical hours at the local rehabilitation center so this was a full-blown cna course this is of course before covid um so we were actually able to go to clinicals the whole nine um so yeah i got my cna certification we tested at the end and i think i got there like 7 30 a.m and left about 4 p.m so it's a long test and i was the very last one to test hand washing everybody does hand washing then you have to do um some type of measurement so it might be urinary output weighing a patient something like that and then you have three other skills that you could do so long story short passed the test took all freaking day got my cna certification graduated high school went to unc charlotte without a car that's important for the story later without a car so my first year um at unc charlotte i did work got fed up with going to work at 8 a.m i didn't even sign up for an 8 a.m class i'm not about to go to work at 8 a.m what makes you think i want to work at 8 a.m if i ain't even signed up for an 8 a.m class anyway if you don't have at least eight hours of work experience in the field after you get your cna you lose it so i'm i'm running 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 around trying to find someone to help me work for eight hours and nothing so i go back home that winter break trying to get someone to hire me at least for a weekend or something so that i could re um so that i could re what's the word anyway so that i could get my um so that i could reapply for my cna so i could what's the freaking word renew oh my god um we're just gonna take a moment to give my brain cells sometimes to recoup because i don't know what that was so that I can renew my CNA certification. Even if I could work for a weekend, whatever, I just needed that eight hours <laughs> so I could have an RN sign off. I tried local rehabilitation centers, local nursing homes, local home health um, businesses, and nothing bit. So I was extremely discouraged. I had two months to get a job before my certification expired. So I go back to Charlotte for the spring semester in January, and I'm still looking, looking, looking. I have until May, I think. Yeah, so I had until May to get um, a job. So I applied for this position like 30 or 40 minutes away. Didn't have a car. Had my friend drive me 45 minutes to an interview um, for this home health company. Got there for the interview, looking good, everything, blazer on, slick back, glasses on, everything. So get there, interview goes great. They even had me take another test. Like, why am I taking tests? I, I took I took the test already. I took the CNA test. I'm a CNA. Check my registry. Hire me. Got there, got the job. They told me to come back in for orientation. I'm coming back for orientation got the job so after i get the job come in for orientation now this is 45 minutes away i do not have a car my friend slade shout out to slade is driving me all the way back 45 minutes for this orientation get to the orientation and my manager supervisor whoever says do you have reliable transportation I mean, yeah, I got here. Like, what do you, like, is that gonna be a problem? <laughs> like, I don't have a car if that's what you're asking. 
And so she said, well, um, you need to have reliable transportation. I said, oh, I'll get there. I'll get there. I have, I have people that will take me. You know, I can get there. And she was like, well, I recommend public transportation. And I'm like, okay, like why? And then she explains HIPAA. And I'm like, dang. And she, basically, I can't have people driving me to other people's house, especially if I'm doing home health care. I can't have people driving me to other people's houses. So I get that. Um, but it was it was really discouraging because I did all of that, got the job. And because I didn't have a car, I could not work with them and I couldn't have the job. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, ended up losing my CNA because I let it lapse. Didn't have a car to keep that job. But in the future, I would say go ahead and get a job as soon as you get your CNA certification. Just get a job. If you don't like the job, just at least, for the love of God, get eight hours of clinical work and get the number of the RN or the charge nurse or whoever that's over that department. Get their number, get their contact information, work eight hours and keep track of that so that in two years, when the nurse um, aid registration sends you that paper, you can say, um, Tammy so-and-so, RN at blah, blah, blah. I worked eight hours, okay, under blah, 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 blah. Send it back in and your, your certification will be renewed. It only takes you eight hours. I think for some, that's like a shift. You can quit after if you want to, but... It is extremely important for you to renew that certification. But that is the story <laughs> of how I lost my CNA certification. I will never let that happen again. Um, of course, when I'm an actual nurse, I won't really be too worried about that because I'll be a nurse. But for those planning to take the CNA um, class or those that have taken it and has not let it lapse yet, please get those eight hours in like yesterday. Get a job now. <laughs> so that's it for this story time. Um, I hope I helped you guys out. That is what my journey is for to help you guys through this process as well. Um, I don't know where you guys are in your process but um please like drop a comment let me know where you are in your process um let me know if this video helped you out at all um and in the future if i saved your cna please tell me that because that'll make me feel good um but thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope that you enjoyed my story time yeah <laughs> bye guys